Hello everyone, welcome back to this back of AX8000 motion control series video. In this video, we will discuss the number 6 topic, how can we read the NC axis arrow ID code, and how can we read the status of this NC axis. Basically, we can use the arrow ID and the status of this axis, we can diagnose what's going on from our drive, from our axis, so we can troubleshoot. Also, usually, we can prepare this error ID show the display on the HMI. So we can pick a couple of important indicators or bull signal from this status so we can show on the HMI. From the operator or from the maintenance team will, they can quickly diagnose or know what's going on from the drive, okay? And take this simple program as an example. Now, in this project, I have this access, access one project. And from this online panel here, we can see now this access is powered, is enabled, and the ready signal that turn on means currently this access is powered without any issue. And currently this access is not moving. It's just at a standstill status. Usually the ready signal, moving signal, and error code, they are very important information for the drive or for the access. So how can we read the error code and the status from our drive? Please follow me. So firstly, from our programming, so I declare this GVL underscore as a single access as the variable, okay? And this variable is under this GVL underscore as a, so I declare this single access, the variable name. This single access, this variable name is data type is access underscore REF here. And then if we go online, log in, so we can see the actual status of this access. This variable represent the entire access status here. So to check out the detail status, there are basically two places we can check the detail. So one is this, the NC2 PLC here. So we can see the state D word. This state D word is a very important information for the drive for this access. Also, the error code. And keep in mind that the error code showing here, that's the U dent. This is the integer value, okay? And also there are a couple status, basically the actual position and the actual velocity and the actual torque, they all important value from the access. So this state D word, this is the double word, 32 bits. So how can we know what that means from the individual bit? We can go browse the state D word. Then if you search this TwinCat PLC library NC, and if you search description of state D word, so this double word, it has 32 bit. So from the bit zero to bit 31, this table is very important, represent the detail information, the detail status of the access. For example, a couple important bit. One is operational here. Basically, this bit turn on means the access is ready. The access is ready for the operation, okay? And home, if you are doing the positioning control, basically in the machine, we need to home the access. So homed, this signal, this bit is very important. Now moving represent if the access is at a standstill or at the moving or not. And here, the number nine and number 10, the positive direction and the negative direction represent which direction is moving, okay? And the number seven has been stopped it. So if you control the axis to stop, so after the axis at the stop status, so it can show this bit will turn on, has been stopped it. Also another two important bit, for example, this, drive device arrow and arrow. So if your drive has something wrong, this 28, this bit will turn on. If your access has something wrong, maybe it's now the hardware error, maybe this access configuration got something wrong, this 31 bit, this error, access error will turn on. Those 32 bit are very important. So for example, now this state D word is showing this value, we can use the calculator translate to the bulls. So we can turn on this calculator and we can go to the hacks and type in this is the 0210085, okay? So this is individual bit. And from this table, we will know now, 
from the speed zero, this axis is operational, is ready status, okay? Because we just enabled, this axis is now moving. And because this axis is at a stop status, so the number seven, this seven bit shows has been stopped it, this bit one. So using those 32 bit, we can know the basic status of our drive and of our access. Other than this, the error code is also an important status. But error code showing here, that is the integer style. Go online. The error code showing here, this is the hex style. And here, it will show the decimal style. Then we can use the error code to diagnose what's going on from the access. For example, if we go back to the back of information system, and from the search here, we can search. We can type in 4650. Then we can search the error code. What does it mean from this code? Drive error. And from these two lines, we can see this is the hex and this is the decimal. Then we can scroll down and find out the detailed code. What does it mean from that 4650? From that decimal scale, it will show 18,000 and the hex will show 4650. So that's the monitor fault. That means the drive hardware not ready to operate. For example, if your drive is a safety disabled or if your torque is limited at the zero by accident, probably the drive cannot turn on and cannot run. So the drive will show this error 4650. So that time the 18,000, this error code will show at here. And in the meantime, from the access here, this error code will show 18,000, okay? This is the first method to read the state, the word, and this error code, especially for this error code. But using this way, you need to use this access, this variable, and find out this NC to PLC, and find out this error ID, this variable name. And alternative way, the second method Usually I recommend we can use the MC underscore power. The MC power, the command, the output from the MC power command. If we go to the MC power, in this project, my MC power style, this is the letter logic style. For example, now this is my access variable, single access. And I turn on enable this access. And this output busy active shows on means this access is powered from this arrow and error ID, especially this error ID here. That's the U dent. It will show the error ID. Also, if your access has something wrong, this arrow can give you a global arrow status. If this arrow turn on means your access definitely has something wrong. Probably you will have to read this error code, find out what's going on of your drive, and then use the MC reset to reset your access error. And after you reset the error, this error and the error ID will turn off. This is the second method to read the error signal and the error ID from the access using the MC power. This is our two methods showing here. And probably now you would ask, reading this state, the word is so complicated because you need to interpret the individual bit, what does it mean from the individual bit, right? It's a little bit complicated. So alternatively, we can read the status. However, if this is the first time for you to use this status, if you expand here, you will see all the status showing under this status here. They all shows false, okay? That's a little bit confused for the new learner. The key things we need to program just the one line code, the structure test, the one line code. So we can call that read status. So if I go to the program and I just call one line like this. So this area, this is my access, the variable name, single access. That is a access underscore REF. And then you type in dot read status. This is the one action, okay? So once you call this read status here, and then let's log in. Okay, we call this line, and then let's go back to the global underscore SA. 
expand. And this time we can read, we can see they all showing here. So now this axis is powered on. So if I go back this axis, now I power on this axis and it shows ready, not moving. Okay, and then we go back. So from this individual bull here, it shows standstill. Okay, and it got a ready status and this axis is ready. Okay, it's operational. Okay, and from the right side, we can see here, it shows the bit, the number from the state D word. Okay, so this status has been transferred to the individual bull. We can use this bool directly. This is very easy for us. And this axis has been stopped it because it's not moving. Okay? And it's not moving. And currently we don't have any error. So the error, let's go up, IRID and the error, they show zero here. If the axis has an error, it will show at here. So we can use this status to read the actual status. This usually I recommend. So don't forget, you need to call that read status, that command, and all those status you can read out. All right, this is the third method to read the actual status of the access. And now let's turn to one record online video. All right, let's turn to this online test for the AX8000 using the NC access control. And this is the video I record when I was doing the test. And now I'm using this function block FB MC power to power on this access. And this access reference link connected to the AX8000 the drive. And in this video, I'm using the torque limitation to control this access. But accidentally, I forgot giving the torque limitation value for this drive. So the torque limitation actually that was zero. So with a zero setting, the axis can be powered, but once I'm trying to use the drug to try to move the axis, the axis will pop up the arrow. So let's see. And now I power on this axis. Okay, currently we can see this error ID shows zero without any error so far. And Currently, the access enabled. And once I try to use the jog, jog the access, we can see this access pop up the 4650, this error code. And this is software, that is the drive manager tool, the software. And this display directly shows the status of this AX8000 drive while controlling this channel A, this motor. And from this 4650, from this drive manager, this software, we can see it shows drive not ready for operation. Okay, that's because that torque is zero. The drive cannot move. And in the meantime, we can see from this drive manager, it also shows not ready with error. And this is the drive system. From the PLC wise, how can we know this access has an error? How can we use the program read out this error code? and then we can go to the MC power. So as we can see here, from this MC power, from this error ID showing here, it shows this error code 4650. That's the same as the drive manager, the software, the error code showing there. So this dent double integer status, this is the integer value, it shows 18,000. Either using this error ID, the hex style, or the integer style, the decimal style, they all work. So it shows that our access has an error. This is the error code. So if we go back to the drive manager, so 4650, this error code. And now let's go to this access variable, okay? The access reference link. And we can see this error code showing here under this NC2 PLC, it shows 18,000, which is the same as this error code. It's just the decimal style, okay? And from this state, the word, we can see this individual bit definitely it shows error. But as we introduced, I would recommend we will use the read status and read the individual bool. And in this video, so far, I haven't called that read status. So we can see the current status shows nothing. All the signal showing here, they all empty, they all false. The only thing we can read is from this NC2 PLC.
okay? And now I'm going to add that read status so we can read the individual bool. And then let me go to the program. And now MC power, it got a power, but currently we are having this error code and error output is showing on, means the access has an error. So currently this status is still zero, still nothing. And now let me log out and let me add this logic here. So keep in mind now this access reference link, this is my access name as same as here, MCT access reference link. And then you need to type in dot read status bracket. Then all those status after we log in, so we can see the status will show something here. Let me log in. Okay, we log in the program read status. And now let's expand this variable, access variable. So now we can see the status, it shows the error, the error ID 4650, that's the hex. And the error, it shows on. So it means this access has an error, okay? Stand still lost because it wasn't got a power on successfully. But this has been stopped, it shows the access is at the stop status, okay? And now let's reset this access, turn on this MC reset. Let's turn off this power on. And then let's go to the IO. And let's give this positive and a negative torque limitation value. Default, that's the zero. Let me go to the online and write 100. So it means 10%. Okay, and let's enable this torque value. And after this, let's power on the access. Meantime, the safety also enabled. And let's reset this MC reset again to reset the fault. Okay, now this access shows nothing. And now this access was powered successfully. And now we can see this arrow shows zero and error ID shows zero, means currently there's no any error showing from this access. And this access got a standstill on, means it got enabled and it's still still on, the access is now moving. And we can see this is the important operational that turn on, means the ready signal on, the access is happy and can be controlled, is ready to operate, okay? So this operational is very important. And meantime, we can see this disabled is off, means a power on successfully. So disabled is off. Personally, I will use this disabled standstill and the operational, use this three signal combined together to judge if the access is correct. So basically, this disabled should be off. Standstill should be on and operational is on means this access is powered successfully and access is fully ready to be operate. And once the access is moving, so standstill will be off. Okay, but operational is still on. Now it has been stopped it because it's the access is now moving. Okay, now moving is on and arrow shows zero. Okay, everything shows okay now. This is the read status. So using this line, we can pick the individual bit from this status. And keep in mind to use this status, you can type in MCT. This is your access name, and you can type in dot, status, dot, the arrow, arrow ID, and something else. And you can grab all those variables, go to the HMI, and show the status for your drive and for your access. All right, this is the reading status or reading the arrow code from our drive. Basically, we can use the MC power output, error and error ID. And also we can type in, we can call this line, read status from your access. And then you can pick the individual bit. Okay, this I would like to show in this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.